What's up everyone, Gus da Costa here and today I want to review the Rode NTG3 shotgun microphone. So the Rode NTG3 is very similar to the uh, Sennheiser MKH416 and these two microphones are professional shotgun microphones that have been around uh, for a long time and has been the industry standard as far as uh, recording audio for movies. Best used outdoors than indoors even though I'm shooting with it indoors right now. So I got the Rode NTG3 and uh, what comes in the box with it? I got it with a kit. So you get an extra, a couple extra things. You get like the, uh, the WS7 wind muff. You get a, so it also comes with a shock mount. It comes with uh, this tube right here that protects from weather. It's weather resistant, drop resistant. It also comes with a leather pouch. It comes with a mic stand and um, so I use my Rode NTG3 with uh, the Zoom H4n Pro and it works pretty good. When the microphone is around a foot away from my mouth, I can have the levels set at about between 20 and 10 on the input levels. The Rode NTG3 comes in at about $699 US. And uh, if you are looking to get this with the kit that I got, I'll have the links down in the description. If you've been using it for a while and you have comments or anything like that, let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And one thing I would like to say is that this shotgun mic re records in mono. And I'm sure, obviously, if you're getting this microphone, you, you're probably a professional, you've been doing this for a long time, but you have to, when you go in Premiere Pro or anything like that, you have to duplicate the track so you can get stereo audio. If you are beginning, and you don't know this, you're gonna get sound only coming out of the uh, out of one side. So you have to duplicate the track and get stereo because the Rode NTG3 only records in mono, so you're gonna have to change that in post. The Rode NTG3 requires 48 volts of phantom power that can be powered with a Zoom or a Tascam handy recorder. Uh, what I use mine with is the Zoom H4n Pro. The NTG3, has a super cardioid pattern. So you're picking up mostly uh, whatever is in front of the mic you're not, and a little bit in the back, not as much, but it tends to reject more of the sounds coming from the sides. The frequency on the Rode NTG3 is between 40 hertz and 20,000 hertz. The max SPL on this microphone is 130 decibels. The signal to noise ratio on the NTG3 is 81 decibels. The output on the NTG3 is XLR connections. So for a more professional camera, you're just gonna be able to plug it right into your camera, like a C200 or something like that. But if you have a DSLR, most likely, you're gonna to have to have a handy recorder to go with it. The Rode NTG3 is an awesome shotgun microphone. If you get one of these microphones, I can guarantee you this is the only microphone you're gonna need. So now I'm gonna play a bunch of sound samples that I took with uh, the Rode NTG3 indoors and also outdoors. All right, so now this is the sound you're the sound you're hearing right now is coming straight out of the uh, the Rode NTG3 without any protection whatsoever, and uh, behind me is a very busy road, so you're probably hearing a lot of that sound behind me. This microphone should be rejecting some of that sound that's uh, that's behind me, but uh, so this is without it. Now I'm gonna put the uh, this windscreen on, and uh, we'll see what kind of audio we get. Now you're, the sound you're hearing is coming uh, out of the Rode NTG3 with that windscreen on. It should be a little bit better than what I was getting before. You definitely, when you're outside, you wanna have some protection. Now I'm gonna put the uh, WS7 wind muff on and this should be even better. So 
And now you're hearing the sound with the WS7 wind muff on. So this should be the best sound you're gonna get with this. Besides having the blimp, I do not have the blimp, but if you um, have that, that would be best case scenario for shooting outside. You definitely wanna protect the microphone against wind or anything like that. It is freezing today, what the heck? But uh, so like I said, there's a lot of noise behind me. There's a busy road there and this microphone should be doing a good job of rejecting that sound. So uh, if this is, if you're looking for a shotgun mic, this uh, that you want to capture really good dialogue outdoors, this would be a great microphone for it. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.